This the thanks that I get for putting you bitches on? Is it my fault that all you bitches are gone? You should have sent a thank you note, you little hole. Now, I'm going to wrap your coffin with a bow. Point is, what I want the world to know about Nicki Minaj is when you hear Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. Let me rewind the tape. This is the real reason why Nikki dope with DJ Self. Yo, Remy said she gonna drag a bitch. I'm just uh, keeping the G real. That's what she just said. Allegedly. He's lying. Allegedly. Allegedly. I apologize. Allegedly. He's lying. We'll post this. I actually said I'm a f up. And this is not the only slime ball comments he made. He's been throwing subliminal shots where it works in his favor. The same way he says Nikki only f**ks with him when her album come out. Well, you only f with people when it works for you honey so yesterday when dj clue did an interview with Nicki minaj and during the interview dj clue brought up dj self because he was in the building and Nicki did not say anything she just rolled her eyes so dj clue quickly got off of that and moved on so during the break dj clue asked Nicki, you gonna give dj a drop and Nicki declined again the only reason why dj clue asked Nicki is because you asked him to ask Nicki. it was no reason why dj clue had a reason to ask Nicki for anything his interview was all already lit dj self who was in his feelings after nikki declined waited until she left the building got on his show and said cardi b has the hardest female album out right now dj self and nikki had a long feuding beef okay now dj self did a lot of shady shit to nikki and he was also one of the main people that pushed up the whole nikki cardi beef the whole tension that they had, all of the arguments and all of that shit. He was really the one that fueled it over the radio, okay? Um, DJ Self is known for pushing up studio beefs and things of that nature. Eventually, at one point, before he got in Cardi's good graces, him and Cardi was bumping here too. And, you know... I feel as though DJ Self really rides this bandwagon of um, who's relevant and who's hating who. It's kind of like, okay, well, this person's relevant and they don't like this person, so I'm going to go interview this person and I'm going to promote their album and do this, this, and this. When really he's rolled the wave of the other person to the point where they're like, okay... Whose side are you really on? Or is there a side? Like, he is like the most confusing man to really associate yourself with when it comes to like music and things of that nature. Now, needless to say, DJ Self has wrote a few hits. But beyond that, it's like, you know, you can write music, but it's not presentable as a DJ as to a client to be so messy you know like okay you were her dj why would you sit up with another artist whose dj you ended up being eventually why would you sit up with another artist and bash her because there was a miscommunication or some type of dysfunction between the two isn't that a bit weird as a dj yeah, that, that's very weird. Um, I'm going to give DJ stuff for early fail. Because if 
I posted the people up here who have said a lot of things about DJ Self, then there really wouldn't be any argument to make because DJ Self, had, his reputation speaks for itself. And hopefully one day Cardi gets to the point where she realizes the whole scheme that he tried to pull between her and Nikki. Um, like, and Nikki spotted that shit head on. Like, you know, they got into it on Twitter. They passed words on Twitter. And he had a lot to say. But what I don't understand is if you have something to say to Nikki, why not tell it to her when she came to do the interview at the studio which you worked? At the station which you worked? Why wouldn't you say what you had to say to her then? You waited till she left the premises to get back on the radio to continue to bash her. Something about that isn't right. And you're the man and she's the woman and you're intimidated by her. Yeah. So... And another thing is, if you are innocent of something and somebody is accusing you of something, don't you think you would tell the person that, like, look, this is what it was, clear it up, yada, 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 yada. No. DJ Self never tried to do that, okay? He never tried to go back with Nikki and say, well, this is what it was, this is what it was. This, no, no. He let it be what it was with Nikki. And... It still is what it is with Nikki. Him and Nikki still aren't on good terms to this day. Um, but yeah, that's DJ Self. Moving on over to Safari. You want to talk about these females that, that have come before me? Go and ask Lil Wayne and go and ask Gucci Man. Have they ever wrote a fucking lyric for me? They never said they wrote for you. They, they can't. No, they never said they, they respect, wrote for you. They respect my pen. <laughs> they respect my pen. You know, and it's so fucked up that everybody on the inside of the industry knows that I write my lyrics and knows that I that I put so much um, weight on women writing. And then for one person to do something like this to me out of sheer weakness and passive aggression and just hatefulness and vindictiveness, I don't because you because you got caught shitting on a person that was taking care of you for years and years because you got caught shitting on a person who was taking care of you uh -huh. while you were paying for prostitutes and doing all types and stealing their credit cards and doing all types of dumbass shit um hold up <laughs> hold the fuck up hold the fuck up <laughs> now we all know the reputation that safari got his sleazy ass grimy ass nasty ass ways that he be having with women and it's a lot of shit that he did to Nikki that I don't think the fans really know about. Like that Nikki brushed, she brushed up on, on in radio interviews, but she's never really got in depth about. Safari stole her credit cards when they broke up. Safari was on Twitter um, basically going on a rant about how Nikki tried to stab him allegedly and all types of other shit. I lost the connection with even liking Safari when it, the story came out word on the curb that he made Nikki have an abortion at the beginning of her career. Nikki got pregnant for him, allegedly, and he told Nikki that she should get an abortion because it was too early in her career. Now, I don't know how true that is, but if it is true, I can't blame him for saying that because one, you know, Nikki was early in her career and she did have a long way to go. But then again, I can blame him for saying that because not only were, you know, this was a person that he was helping with her, like, you know, that's that was, he was helping her with her music. But not only that, that was your spouse at the time. And you made her do that, if that is the case. And she did it, if that is the case. So, you know, it's a lot that has been done between the two. But ultimately, 
he accused Nikki of stabbing him. She accused him of stealing credit cards and cheating. And they both accused each other of cheating. They both accused each other of going behind each other back and having conversations with different people. And all. it was just so much that came out between him and Nikki that was like, okay, were y'all even happy together all of the time that y'all actually were together? Like, Nikki and Safari called it quits in 2014. If I'm not mistaken, 2014, officially. But, like, and and I didn't even know that they had called it quits quits in 2014 because they was, they had been broke up. They had been broke up. They had been stopped dealing. They had been moved on. Nikki had moved on and got with Meek and all of this extra stuff. So somewhere along those lines, she was still having slight and polite conversation with Safari. Now, I don't know at what point does him and Nikki get to this, okay, we're, we're okay, but then I don't like your fucking guts. I don't know where him and Nikki get that from, but I can't really not like him for that because people go through that in relationships. Not all relationships are perfect, and sometimes I'm not going to fucking like you. Sometimes I'm just not going to want to be around you and, you know, it is what it is. But then again, there were certain things that they shouldn't have said when they broke up. Like the whole stealing of the credit cards and who cheated on who with who. And uh, she said Safari got prostitutes behind her back and all of that stuff. Like all of that should have been left unsaid. Now, I feel like they do a lot of stuff at the wrong timing. These two, um, especially when it comes to each other, like all of this that had been said, they should have did all of that when they broke up, like when it was really when everybody was really concerned about why they broke up. They had really had nothing to say, even though they did pass like words on social media. They didn't really get in depth and say the things that they said after that, after the fact, like years later, like, you know, Nikki really, really brought out the truth. Once she got older and got on, you know, TV, I mean, yeah, TV and um, radio stations and stuff like that. She brought up the truth. As she should. Um, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But, you know, I don't understand how and why and or the reason why she might have loved him. Because um, he's been a sleazy ass nigga all his life. He's been a sleazy, he was a sleazy ass nigga before he got with Nikki. So I don't know what made her even want to, but you can't tell people who to love. And in my opinion, he's still going to be a trash ass nigga. Now, this is my thing. I don't like dudes who get fame based off sex appeal. Like... It's one thing for you to be sexy as hell, but it's another thing for you to base what you do off of your sexiness. Like, it's it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to be in a in, in a relationship with a woman and you in competition with your woman for the mirror. It's kind of odd. Like, um, and I'm a gay man, and I'm saying that that's kind of odd. Okay. Um... But it was a fail for him. Because I don't know all of what his intentions was for Nikki. But in the end, just like everybody saw, he did fail. So, like, it was a public fail. Like, and how do you fuck up with Nikki? Same thing goes for Meek and all of, like, how are you getting with these people? And you don't have the potential that you need to be with them successfully. You, but people go through situations and they have to learn. So it takes a lot of understanding for me within that situation. But that's just that situation. Okay. Moving right along to Kara Mirage. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. I just wanted to really bring my mommy up because I always talk about my mommy, and this is the first time the world is getting to see her. And mommy, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me. Carol 
is Nikki's mother. Nikki's backbone. Nikki just recently lost her dad. And I know now more than ever, her and Miss Carol are going to get a lot closer. Um, you know, and they're going to even get even more closer now that Nikki has the baby. Um, but she has always paid homage to this woman. Even in her music. Even, you know, even when she first came onto the scene and she would do interviews and stuff like that. She always pays homage to her mother. And that's something that can always be respected within the rap community, within hip hop culture, period. A lot of these people get on the stage and they acknowledge their parents. And that's something that Nikki always does. You know, um, Miss Carol tries to stay quiet when she can. She has a foundation. She has a lot of stuff going for herself. Did y'all know that Nikki Mama make music? I don't know if y'all knew that. But Nikki's mother makes music. Yes, she does. Um, like, she has a lot going for herself. And I, it, when I was doing my research on her, I could see that her message, her message was really like, you know, uh, a lot of people really get caught up in the fact that she's Nikki's mother and not really asking her, okay, well, what do you have going on? What are you doing as Nikki's mother? What do you do with yourself? Like, not riding the Nicki Minaj train. What does she do outside of that? You know, and as a parent, I could see why she doesn't want to be cast in a female rapper's shadow that just happened to be her daughter. I could see why she wouldn't want to do that. But, and just because she doesn't want to do that, that doesn't mean that she's not proud of Nicki. It just means that she doesn't want to do that. And she should have that choice. Just like her son. If her, if her son grows up and say, look, Mom, I don't want to rap. I don't want to. I don't want to be a part of music at all. Maybe I want to be an astronaut. Maybe I want to be the president. Maybe I want. You know, he may not want to take that route. So that people, I like the fact that Nikki allows her to make her own decisions. She doesn't really force her to just be like a tag along mom because a lot of celebrities really just tag their mom along. Like if I'm going to this state, I'm gonna get you a house, a house in this state too. So. You could be there when I'm there. Like, it's always kind of like a thing. If I'm on a jet, you're on a jet. Like, so it become, it kind of becomes like, okay, well, I'm the celebrity, so I got to give my mother a job. Like, you know, and that's not what mothers should encounter. Like, if, I, if I'm your mother, I want to sit back and be your mother. Like, let me be that. Don't, don't try to just make me ride the whole train that you want to ride. Like, I have my own life and you have yours. And that's something that she appreciates. Um, Miss Carol has other children as well. And I'm not going to get into the whole case with Nikki's brother and all of that stuff. Because I don't think that that even needs to be presented in this video. Um, Nikki's brother is a whole nother topic. And I may or may not do an uh, episode on him next season specifically. But that's a whole nother topic. But needless to say, Miss Carol is going to sit in VIP this week. Because who doesn't love a good mom? Who doesn't love a supportive mom? Who doesn't love a mother that has done her job all of her life? Even when it got tough. Even when she had to leave Nikki in Trinidad and come to New York to create a life for them. Who doesn't love a mother who has a good hustle? Um, VIP it is. So... Now that I've presented my case about all of those people, you tell me what you think. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that notification bell when my next video comes out. They'll let you know. Um, and yeah, meet me back here next week for episode nine. Can y'all believe that the season is almost over? We have nine, ten, four more episodes. Four more episodes to the season, and we're going to season two. So, make sure y'all are here. Thank everybody for watching and supporting me through it all, through the whole season, through the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, the late, the on time, everything, the, the fuck-ups in my videos, all of that. It, it, I, it means a lot, because... This was just a dream. This was just an idea, and it's been taking me where I need to be. So, 
I'm going to ride the wave. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care how late I get. I don't care how late I am. I don't care how many views I don't get. I'm going to ride this wave. And I thank you for riding it with me. So, next week, we have a special episode for the late DMX. And it's going to be DMX versus the people. In that episode, we're going to discuss a lot. Like, that's, that's the episode that you really don't want to miss. That's kind of why I took it really light and easy in this episode. Because the next episode is really going to be juicy. Like, really juicy. It's gonna, it, it may be a good 30-minute episode. So, hold your horses. But get ready. Do not compare Nicki Minaj to Lady Gaga. Does that kind of comparison offend you? Offend me? No. Um, irks me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are the similarities? Why don't I turn the cameras around and ask you? Just the wigs and the... Wigs? Every female in this game, and every female in this game wears wigs. The over-the-top costume, you mean? Over-the-top costumes? Eh, try again.